What is going on YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here located in Central North Carolina. It's good to be with you again. Welcome to the video. I was over there uh, across the street talking with Mr. Kevin. We were uh, very busy this weekend. We didn't get to go to church. We had to do a, um, a celebration of life service over towards the mountains for my wife's aunt. And then I had my uncle that passed away uh, last week as well. So we've had two services in the past week or so, but um, I was uh, over there talking with Mr. Kevin before church, giving him some equipment to take to the church. And he was like, what is this? And I said to me, Kevin, that looks a lot like fungus is starting to form. And so I had to hurry up and mow my grass because we had rain coming on that Sunday morning. So I came back, I mowed real quick, and sure enough, I believe I saw some of the similar things I saw in Mr. Kevin's lawn and my lawn, which is probably fungus. So it's right about that time as we just started talking about it last week about prepping for fungicide, the warming of soil temps, that we need to be aware of that. Today, I am going to be applying fungicide to my lawn because I think I've seen some areas. And then we'll talk about what we're putting down and how much here in a second. All right, I actually have time to do this before we eat dinner. Um, so we got the sprayer up here. Um, here are the products. I actually do have just enough natural adjuvant to maybe do one more dose. But this is Pete's natural adjuvant, not Pete's. He didn't create it, but he this is what he sells on GCI uh, Turfic or GCIacademy.com, I believe. I will link it below if you're interested. But the purpose of the natural adjuvant, according to Pete and his words, the best way I can explain it is he talks about it adding this. Um, we're going to mix our product together. We're going to check the pH of our water level and we want to keep it under, I think it's under five or something like that. I'm going to have to relook at the, uh, the paper in there, but, um, it'll maybe give some instructions on the back. Um, but anyways, uh, adding the natural adjuvant into the mix, the best way I can describe it is it opens up the pores. Like our skin has pores on it and sweat comes out of our, uh, our skin when we sweat. Well, think about opening the pores of the grass blade, uh, with the natural, natural adjuvant and it'll allows the chemicals that we're putting down to instantly start working and affecting the grass. This is true for, you know, fertilizers, true for herbicides, true for fungicides. So it's a, it's an added thing. You don't absolutely have to have it. Um, I've done plenty of applications without it, but since I have it, uh, I used it last year. It seemed to work and you don't have to water it in. And according to Pete, using the natural adjuvant, you use about 0.5 per thousand square feet is what you're going to use of this. Then you don't, you can use the minimum rates of the product that you're putting down and with these we're putting down the minimum 0.5 per thousand for each of these also i'm adding this in after i've already completed this section of the video but i was reading in pete's um, lawn care guide he also states that the natural adjuvant has saved his business a lot of money using it because he can use the low rate of products with any products when he's spraying with his lawn care business but the key thing i wanted to throw in there as well is pete says using the natural adjuvant in your lawn will help your grass retain its water by 50 percent that it is key in uh, lawn care and summer stress. So it is. it has that ben benefit of not only allowing you to use less product in your lawn. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, look at him bouncing over there. So you can use less product in the lawn, but also it helps with heat stress. So it may be worth you trying this out. Get the starter kit. I'll link it below so you can check it out. Or like me, I just went in there and did a refill, actually. So I wanted to throw that in on the natural adjuvant. So uh, we talked about it, uh, propiconazole, this one, um, it's cured uh, brown patch for my dad and his lawn. I've been a witness and seen it. It's done at brown patch in my lawn and a fescue lawn. It is a group three fungicide as you see up there at the top and it's propiconazole 14.3. And uh, we're gonna put 0.5 uh, ounces per thousand of this guy right here. Uh, next, we've got Tall Star. This is the insecticide. Now, if you see right there, the uh, main, uh, main active ingredient is bifen, and it's 7.9 uh, or 7.9 percent. And so, uh, per the label, this thing is pretty much. Uh, it's got a wide range of insects that you're going to stop in your lawn. So I'm just going ahead and adding this in because it's going to sit on the blade, and it's going to stop mosquitoes. It's going to stop uh, lots of things, and uh, it is a very safe product. If you read the label, you can apply it along the base of your home, uh, up by your windows, and things 
things of this nature to stop spider webs and things like that. It's great. I highly encourage you to try it. Then our last guy over here is uh, new. I just got him in the mail not too long ago, and I'm glad I did because now that I'm seeing these spots, I even saw some spots going down to the shed down here. A Zoxystrobin. This one is the most of the of, of the cost wise. This is the most expensive. As you can see, it's a group 11 fungicide. So there's different groupings, a group 11 and, and propiconazole is a group three. So you have that coverage of two different types of, of um, fungicides to cover your basis on the scale, if you will. And so this one is uh, a little over a hundred bucks. It's a, uh, do, 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 I want to say it's 32 ounces. I think it is um, 32 ounces total. Uh, don't say on the back, but I believe so. Um, but this guy 0.5 ounces per thousand square feet as well. So we're going to mix all of these up, put them in. We're going to do our trim pass and we're going to do our bulk spray. So I will film this part um, of the process since we are using the natural adjuvant. I don't know if I have four ounces there or not. It's going to be close. But when you buy the starter pack, this is the thermometer or, or excuse me, the pH meter that you get. Now it threw me off for a while. I thought that was part of it. This comes off so that this is the tip that you get on the bottom. So uh, if you're like me and you're an idiot, then uh, yeah, that part comes off. Uh, and it comes with this, it comes with some citric acid uh, to lower pH, da 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 da. And uh, so we're gonna turn it on and it should be at, yeah, well, probably whatever it was last time. So we've got our mix, we've got our exoxystrobin, our propiconazole, our water, uh, and our tall star in here. So it's probably going to change based on your water and what your water uh, comes in. We're going to stick this in and get our pH reading. And we are way above 5.5. 5.5 is the number. We want to be below 5.5. So being that I am high and I'm around 8, um, I need to add some citric acid to this. So I'm going to do that. We'll come back and check it here in a second. So here is the citric acid that you get, uh, citrus sand, I guess. And Pete says a little goes a long way. Uh, sometimes I've dumped way too much and got the pH all the way down to like two. We don't need that much. So we're gonna add some in right here. Um, and you just kind of want to check. So I'm gonna add some, being that we were eight, we're not too far away. We'll do that. And then we're gonna take, without the fault, this falling off is hard with one hand. Uh, we're gonna take our drill over here and mix that in thoroughly. Now we're gonna check it and see if we added too little or need to add more. So we put it in there and you see we are just that little bit that I added, very little. We went all the way down to under three. So we are gold for This Wednesday, that. just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. I'm going ahead and applying it now. We're doing a low rate to prevent. So hopefully anything that's out there, I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on it. If this mixture and this spray that we're doing today doesn't stop it in its tracks and it continues to grow and spread, I'm gonna to have to come back with a higher dosage, but I'm hoping doing it now, catching it where I'm seeing a little bit here and there, it's gonna stop it in its tracks. Let me just pause right here and say one more thing before we get out of here that this spray of fungicides to my lawn will last me a maximum of 28 days. So around the 21, 22 day mark, we want to go ahead and look at our calendar of when we last applied fungicides and go ahead and apply again and get that overlap in coverage so we don't have any gaps for fungicide. So keep that in mind as well. So thank you guys for tuning in today for this quick Wednesday video. We're going to get these bad boys mixed up and thrown down, and hopefully we stop fungus in its tracks. God bless you. We'll see you on Friday with another lawn care video. God bless.